Singer Corporation. Singer Corporation is an American manufacturer of sewing machines, first established as I.M. Singer & Company in 1851 by Isaac Merritt Singer with New York lawyer Edward Clark. Best known for its sewing machines, it was renamed Singer Manufacturing Company in 1865, then the Singer Company in 1963. It is based in Laverne, Tennessee, near Nashville. Its first large factory for mass production was built in Elizabeth, New Jersey, in 1863. Singer's original design, which was the first practical sewing machine for general domestic use, incorporated the basic eye-pointed needle and lock stitch developed he by Elias Howe, who won a patent infringement suit against Singer in 1854. Patent number 8294, of August 12, 1851, introduced one of the most useful machines, and one of the most remarkable men, that have figured in the development of the sewing machine. Isaac Merritt Singer, strolling player, Theater manager, inventor, and millionaire, brought into the business a new machine and novel methods of exploitation, which gave a powerful impulse to the youthful industry. The Singer improvements met the demand of the tailoring and leather industries for a heavier and more powerful machine. Singer consolidated enough patents in the field to enable him to engage in mass production, and by 1860, his company was the largest manufacturer of sewing machines in the world. In 1885, Singer produced its first vibrating shuttle sewing machine, an improvement over contemporary transverse shuttle designs. Singer began to market its machines internationally in 1855 and won first prize at the Paris World's Fair. The company demonstrated the first workable electric sewing machine at the Philadelphia Electric Exhibition in 1889 and began mass producing domestic electric machines in 1910. Singer was also a marketing innovator and was a pioneer in promoting the use of installment payment plans. Source, by 1876, Singer was claiming cumulative sales of 2 million machines and displaying the 2 millionth in Philadelphia. In 1867, the Singer Company decided that the demand for their sewing machines in the UK was sufficiently high to open a local factory in Glasgow on John Street. Glasgow was selected for its iron-making industries, cheap labor and possibly because at the time the general manager of the US Singer Manufacturing Company was George Mackenzie, who was of Scottish descent. Demand for sewing machines outstripped production at the new plant and by 1873, a new larger factory was completed on James Street, Bridgeton. By now, Singer employed over 2,000 people in Scotland, but they still could not produce the now machines. In 1882, George Mackenzie, now president-elect of the Singer Manufacturing Company, undertook the groundbreaking ceremony on 46 acres of farmland at Cullabawi, Clybank. Originally, Two main buildings were constructed, each long, wide and three stories high. These were connected by three wings. Built above the middle wing was a huge tall clock tower with a singer name clearly displayed for all to see for miles around. Out of railway lines were laid throughout the factory to connect the different departments such as the boiler room, foundry, shipping and the lines to main railway stations. Sir Robert McAlpine was the building contractor and the factory was designed to be fireproof with water sprinklers making it the most modern factory in Europe at that time. With nearly a million square feet of space and almost 7,000 employees, it was possible to produce on average 13,000 machines a week, making it the largest sewing machine factory in the world. The Clyde Bank factory was so productive that in 1905, the U.S. Singer Company set up the Singer Manufacturing Company LTD. As a UK-registered company, demand continued to exceed production so each building was extended upwards to six stories high. In the First World War, sewing machine production gave way to munitions. The Singer Clyde Bank factory received over 5,000 government contracts, and made 303 million artillery shells, shell components, fuses, and airplane parts, as well as grenades, rifle parts, and 361,000 horseshoes. Its labor force of 14,000 was about 70% female at war's end. From its opening in 1884 until 1943, the Kilbawi factory produced approximately 36 million sewing machines. Singer was the world leader and sold more machines than all the other makers added together. In 1913, the factory shipped 1.3 million machines. The late 1950s and 1960s saw a period of significant change at the Clyde Bank factory. In 1958, Singer reduced production at their main American plant and transferred 40% of this production to the Clyde Bank factory in a bid to reduce costs. Between 1961 and 1964, 
The Clyde Bank Factory underwent a £4 million modernization program which saw the Clyde Bank Factory cease the production of cast iron machines and focus on the production of aluminium machines for Western markets. As part of this modernization program, the famous Singer clock was demolished in 1963. At the height of its productiveness in the mid 1960s, Singer employed over 16,000 workers, but by the end of that decade, Compulsory redundancies were taking place and 10 years later the workforce was down to 5,000. Financial problems and lack of orders forced the world's largest sewing machine factory to close in June 1980, bringing to an end over 100 years off sewing machine production in Scotland. The complex of buildings was demolished in 1998. Singer returned in developing sewing machines in 1946. They introduced its first sewing machine with zigzag function in 1952. The Slantomatic.2011 marked their 160th anniversary. Currently, they manufacture computerized, heavy duty, embroidery, quilting, sergers, and mechanical sewing machines. In 2017, they launched their new Singer Sewing Assistant app. The Singer Sewing Machine was the first complex standardized technology to be mass marketed. It was not the first sewing machine, and its patent in 1851 led to a patent battle with Elias Howe inventor of the lock stitch machine. This eventually resulted in a patent sharing accord among the major firms. Marketing strategies included focusing on the manufacturing industry, gender identity, credit plans, and higher purchases. Singers marketing emphasized the role of women in their relationship to the home, evoking ideals of virtue, modesty, and diligence. Though the sewing machine represented liberation from arduous hand sewing. It chiefly benefited those sewing for their families and themselves. Traits people relying on sewing as a livelihood still suffered from poor wages, which dropped further in response to the time savings gained by machine sewing. Singer offered credit purchases and rent to own arrangements, allowing people to rent a machine with the rental payments applied to the eventual purchase of the machine, and sold globally through the use of direct sales door to door canvassers to demonstrate and sell the machine. During World War II, the company suspended sewing machine production to take on government contracts for weapons manufacturing. Factories in the U.S. supplied the American forces with Norden bomb sites and M1 carbine rifle receivers, while factories in Germany provided their armed force with weapons. In 1939, the company was given a production study by the government to draw plans and develop standard raw material sizes for building M1911 A1 pistols. The following April 17, Singer was given an educational order of 500 units with serial numbers S800001, S800500. The educational order was a program set up by the U.S. Ordnance Board to teach companies without gun-making experience to manufacture weapons. After the 500 units were delivered to the government, the management decided to produce artillery and bomb sites. The pistol tooling and manufacturing machines were transferred to Remington Rand whilst some went to the Ithaca Gun Company. Approximately 1.75 million 1911A1s were produced during World War II, making original Singer pistols rare and collectible. In excellent condition, they can sell for $25,000 to $60,000 with the highest paid $166,750 at auction in 2010, conducted by Rock Island Auction Company. In the 1960s the company diversified, acquiring the Frieden Calculator Company in 1965, Packard Bell Electronics in 1966 and General Precision Equipment Corporation in 1968. GPE included Librescope, the Kierfoth Company Incorporated, and Link Flight Simulation. In the 1968 also Singer bought out GPS systems and added it to the Link Simulation Systems Division. This unit produced nuclear power plant control center simulators in Silver Spring, Maryland and Columbia, MD, while flight simulators were produced in Binghamton, New York. In 1987, corporate raider Paul Bilzerian made a green mail run at Singer, and ended up owning the company when no white knight rescuer appeared. To recover his money, Bilzerian sold off parts of the company. Kierfot was split. The Kierfot Guidance and Navigation Corporation was sold to the Astronautics Corporation of America in 1988 and the Electronic Systems Division was purchased by Jack Marconi in 1990, renamed Jack Marconi Electronic Systems. The four link divisions developing and supporting industrial and flight simulation were sold to Canadian Navionics Electronics and became CAE Link. The Nuclear Power Simulator Division became S3 Technologies, and later GSE Systems, and relocated to Eldersburg. MD. 
The sewing machine division was sold in 1989 to Semitech Microelectronics, a publicly traded Toronto-based company. For several years in the 1970s, Singer set up a national sales force for CAD phototype setting machines made by another Massachusetts company, Graphic Systems Incorporated. This division was purchased by Wang Laboratories in 1978. The Singer Corporation produces a range of consumer products, including electronic sewing machines. It is now part of SVP Worldwide, which also owns the Pfaff and Husqvarna Viking brands, which is in turn owned by Kohlberg & Company which bought Singer in 2004. Its main competitors are Brother Industries, Genome, Ison Seiki, a Toyota Group company that manufactures Toyota, Neki and E&R Classic Sewing Machine Sanjuki. Singer was heavily involved in Manhattan real estate in the 1800s through Edward Clark, a founder of the company. Clark had built the Dakota Apartments and other Manhattan buildings in the 1880s. In 1900, the Singer Company retained Ernest Flagg to build the 12-story loft building at Broadway and Prince Street in Lower Manhattan. The building is now considered architecturally notable, and has been restored. The 47-story Singer Building, completed in 1908, was also designed by Flagg, who designed two landmark residences for Bourne. Constructed during Bourne's tenure, the Singer Building was then the tallest building in the world and was the tallest building to be intentionally demolished until the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center were destroyed in the September 11th attacks. At their Clyde Bank Scotland factory Singer built a 200-feet clock tower which stood over the central wing and had the reputation of being the largest four-facet clock in the world. Each face weighed five tons and it took four men 15 minutes twice a week to keep it wound. The tower was demolished after the factory closed in 1980 and now site of Clyde Bank Business Park. Singer Railway Station, built to serve the factory, is still in existence to this day. The famous Singer House, designed by architect Pavel Suzer, was built in 1902-1904 at Nevsky Prospect in St. Petersburg for headquarters of the Russian branch of the company. This modern-style building is officially recognized as an object of Russian historical cultural heritage. In 2018, a large factory fire destroyed a Singer distribution office and warehouse in Seven Hills, Sydney. Singer had manufactured sewing machines in Australia at a purpose-built plant in the western Sydney suburb of Penrith, from 1959 until 1967. In January 2018, Singer appointed Mike Aspinall from the Crafty Gentleman blog as its first UK brand ambassador. Mike has been running his craft blog since 2013 and has over 10 years of sewing experience. He has been named the fifth most popular UK DIY blogger and the 17th th most popular UK craft blogger, and has appeared on Channel 4 and the BBC to promote crafts for men. As part of his role as Singer brand ambassador, he shares regular craft tutorials and projects on his blog and social media channels. 29. Westernweekender.com.au slash 2018 slash 07 slash end of an era all over again slash. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.